Hey guys, and welcome. My name is NG Paradox, and welcome back to the North March, where war is brewing. Uh, looks as though at the moment we are attacking the Liddens, the Lord Paramounts of the Westlands, inherited from the Lannisters, of course. Now, last time I did talk about the fact that I was concerned about my son's betrothal to the Oakheart girl, maybe thinking that because she lost her High Lordship, it might not be the best option. But... After recording that and then, you know, starting this recording, I have actually feel like I'm going to keep the marriage because one thing, it's still a good piece of land. You know, Old Oak is right on our border, so we kind of get that northern border still, which is kind of nice. Also, it's a big castle. So I still think the, the piece of land is really good. Also, you never know in the future she might take back um, the High Lordship of Ocean Road, so there is still that possibility. So I feel like, you know, with those two situations, it's still a good marriage. Plus, she is huge. And my son is a genius. So we've still got good traits going there. Obviously, I was thinking, as I said before, about Duncan's daughter. She is a giant and huge. Now, being a giant, you know, they're both you know big girls. So they both have that going for them. But she is a genius. But as we've seen before, I've seen like two geniuses have babies. Sometimes they're like slow or thick or terrible. I don't know why. I feel like it happens more often with two geniuses. I'm not sure if there's actually something in the game or something that does that. But I feel like it's happened quite a few times. So I'm not sure. It's just that that's the only thing. Basically, it's lands or genius. And I think I'd rather go with the lands for now. Especially because I want that northern border. And plus, because we're going to be probably trying to attack Golden Grove, we're not really going to be looking to attack this way. So it might be good to have more of a diplomatic conquest of this side. So that's why we're going for that. So yeah, I think I'm going to keep her for now. We'll see. Obviously, maybe she won't accept when we get to the point where they can get married anyway. You always keep asking me about this Rhonda Chester. I don't care. I don't care. I'm just going to say it. I don't care. Yeah. Still not going to attack Middlebury. Um, but yeah, at the moment in the war, it's not looking great for us. We've still got 23%. But when it comes to the men up and fighting, it's not good. They both have more men, I think, uh, back in their lands, but the actual raised amount of men, yeah. We're not looking great. Now, I am leading this men. The high has just died. So I'm leading these last amount of 10,000 men. We could go destroy the 3,000. That's still not going to help completely. They still have 15,000 men led by Sir Ossifer. I can't believe I had an opportunity to kill the Lord Paramount, though. He just ran away. Septon Hobber. He'd like to work with me. He's ambitious, but good at intrigue. Now, maybe those two aren't really good together and deceitful. I don't know. I'm I'm not I'm not sure for now, sir. Mr. Septon Hobber. The Druelan Oak has inherited the Lordship of Oakenshield. There we go. He does have a son. His daughter has old oak. Yeah. Huh. What an interesting kind of situation that is. He has lands, but it'll go to the sun. So if we kill the sun, she would get it. Yeah, if I'm correct here, let's have a quick look. Agnetic Cognatic. So she would get that, so I could kill her, and that'd be another piece of land. Oak and shield. It's, you know, it's near old oak, so it's not, like, far away. It could still make sense, I guess, you know. Cause I don't like border gore, so I think it could still fit quite nicely. Just kind of go from the land. By sea. Hmm. Let's have a quick look. A little bit of people would help. Would he do it though? I think he would. He is a cruel and deceitful man. And selfish and diligent and a tort. Yep. I, I think these days he's going to be okay with it. I think in the very first time when we became him, I didn't think he would. But now I think he's changed quite a bit. Let's kill the boy. Kill the boy. And make the man be reborn. Is that what he says? I can't remember what he says. Ugh. Now we've got a lot of people who are willing to join. We probably could do this. We actually probably could. Let's have a quick look at you know, the people it would send. Let's look at the numbers. That's about... Oh, it's gone down. I guess I could send our spy mask. That's probably a good idea as well. I don't think we're too in danger. People don't love us, but I don't think anyone hates us that much. Actually, is he with his father? I'm assuming he'd be with his father. 
Yeah. Okay. Plot power increase. Yeah, go here. Oaken shield. It's not a big piece of land, but I say every little helps. Every little helps. So we'll get that done. Intrigue, 67%. So we need about 30% more. Yeah, we can definitely get it. Oh, yeah. Just need to get around my 20 gold for him. That's pretty good. 14%. How much for you? 15 gold, even better. 15 gold. How about for her? Okay, how about we go for the 15 gold people? We don't need that 14. That's a Corbury. Ooh, nice. How many Corbys? Six Corbys left. Just kind of look. What the? Oba? Huh. There's a... Uh... He looks like a wildling. Mountain clansman. What? What is going on here? So his father was a Veilman. Lady Forlorn. Who's your mother? Your mother was a Tyroshi. How did this happen? <laughs> Apparently he's gone to be a mountain clansman. His wife is his, a relative of his. Yeah. Oh, I think that's his niece. He married his niece? This is just weird. This is a weird stuff going on here in the Corby household. No idea. Um, but yeah, 15 gold, 45 gold. We can afford it right now, actually. Let's go with that then. Let's try and get rid of that kid. He's just going to do what he needs to do. We'll get this Corbury involved. Corbury's getting involved in politics and intrigue in the Reach. I like it. Died comatose. 102%. Not great, but not bad. Not bad at all. 14%. We could get an extra 14%, but I think it's fine. I don't want to spend too much. Middlebury. Okay, so there's a chance that we could try and get another two pieces of land with my son's marriage. So that makes it even better as a choice. We'll have a claim, of course, in the High Lodge of Ocean Rose. That's a, that's a good point. He always still has that claim. When they get married and something, my, I become my son, we could always push for her claim, possibly. The High Lodge of Barrowlands, some more Medgar. Okay. So Mr. Dustin took the Barrowlands from the other Dustin. Are you, were you brothers? Yes, you were brothers. Ooh. So the younger brother took over from the older brother. But, I mean, he's fashionable. How can you argue with that? What's your wife? Mormont. What's your brother's wife? A Fen. But he was married before. To a Stark. Ooh. What's this? We propose that Lady Ten of Old Oak and Sir Mernos Grey get married. It's not matrilineal, so yeah. It looks as though it is fine. Yeah. I'm just trying to make sure. I don't want to click it and it turns out it's matrilineal. Accept. So there we go. My son has left my court to go obviously reside in Old Oak until I die. So we can't really see what he does. And obviously lost him on the council, which is a shame. But hopefully he goes and does good things. Make lots of huge babies, please. Dual skill of plus five. What does the giant one do? Is it the same amount? Dual skill plus four. So apparently being huge is better than being a giant. Huh. Is strong. The blood of the first man is strong in this one. This character is huge. Does it say the same thing? An impressive stature. Not very good at intrigue, but better martial. Okay, so it seems like it's more of a... I guess maybe it's just bigger than giant, I'm going to assume, but yeah. Okay. Nope. Happy with that. I know a lot of people won't like it. A lot of people wanted me to marry Duncan's daughter, but I feel like it's just the best choice for now. No one's really a good Castellan, are they? Let's go with put Osney Tor back in. Ah, oh, Mr. Weber. You got pretty good martial, actually. Now, you're not a very good fighter, so you're not be good at training kids. But that that's pretty good. It's good to know we have another fighter. Okay, Osney. You can go back to being that. Uh, don't really trust you to do much. Okay, I guess improved defenses. He can't do anything bad there. Yeah, let's do that. He can't do anything bad, just improving defenses, apparently. 102%. Uh, they've gotten married. Um, customary to pay the dowry. Yes, concern for everyone. No, people respect wealth. So does he want respect or money? Hmm. Well, he's selfish, but I feel like that could be for both. He's getting more of something. I should think I guess selfish is more like you want the money, probably. I know, obviously, it's not greedy, but still, selfish means you want more. Cruel and diligent. 
I think you might go with the money. Um, because I don't think either one particularly points to one or the other, but I feel like overall you go probably with the money. Yeah. Give me a dowry. My lord, they've sent the customary around. 25 gold. And plus that pays for our intrigue. Almost. So that's kind of nice. My daughter also got married. Not pregnant yet. So just my third son, who's still slothful. Really hope he can get rid of that. Your son is most uncooperative, is not responding well. No! Martin, come on. You were meant to be... Uh, he was meant to be better than his brother. Well, not better. His brother's pretty good. But you were meant to be just... You were meant to be like competing with your brother. You're meant to be both just as good as each other. Seeks to kill Cerise Osgray. Is that, my, is that his sister? No. Who is Cerise Osgray? You want to kill... Ah, oh, I guess because... Yeah. Because then if he has no kids, it will go to our line. Lollies was murdered. Um, my work can come to fruition. Yes. Go, my brother. Paxter. Of course, he has uh, he has something in here as well. We both hate... We were both there. He was even injured when they insulted our family. So, he obviously worked very hard to get that. Good job, my brother. Yes. Golden Grove will be mine. And with the war going on, at 17%, this might be a good time. He likes me a little bit, but I don't know how much he likes Mr. Adam the Rash. He does have a son... Which is not good. We, I wish he didn't. But that will be fine. How much men do you have? 1,700. 2,600. We have a few more men. I might as well form an alliance with her. Yeah, might as well get that. Yeah, might as well just get these alliances. Great. Can we not get an alliance? I guess because I'm your liege lord, Jay, we can't. Does he have an alliance? No allies, but he does have a non-aggression pact with the Meadows. At least the gentle. Yeah, that's not good if he could use that. Her son's attractive. Dick on Meadows. Um, now we do have the army enemy forces are up here, so it's still a good time to attack. I think we might just go straight in. I'm going to wait until we get the, uh, the alliance from her. Not sure if she'll be able to help much. He doesn't have many men. You've been disinherited? By who? <laughs> who is disin... I mean, have you been disinherited by him? Yeah. You... He knew it. He may be a drooling oak, but for somehow he knew. That... We'll have to kill everyone then. Every oak card. Not even if we kill every oak card, just go to high towers. That is very upsetting. I like the fact the other daughter's strong. There's obviously some good yet and attractive... There's obviously some good genes there in the oak carts. Their father got none of it. But apparently all his kids did. That's upset me. Is there any point? Yeah, there's no point to this then. Okay. Well, there's no point killing that boy then. We're not going to get it, so... We'll, we'll leave the kid alone. I mean, obviously, he's not he's a cruel man, but there's no point just killing a child just because we feel like it. Plus, we have other things to deal with. Uh, I should probably move my spy master. We can't until 1st of September. Let's wait till the 1st of September. There we go. Oh. Is that a different year? No. Huh. Let me click off it. There we go. Okay, that was just why. Okay, just go back there. Just make sure I'm safe. I'll leave it like that. Now, it looks like they're being attacked by the Baratheons up here. The Baratheons just destroyed them. But they weren't brought into the war. What is going on? Mega War System's gone off again. My friend talked to me my fine service. Thank you, Wild Fawn. What's going on? De jour war over the Westlands. Oh no. So because of the Mega War System, the king is actually attacking the Westlands in a de jour war, even though he doesn't need to. This is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> that is actually really sad. I feel bad. Stormlands, yeah, and they just come in and destroyed his main army. That is actually really bad. Oh, well, well, how about we go in on the attack then? Declare war. Golden Grove will be mine. And I will hopefully kill him at the same time. Yep, there we go. We can call them in. Let's raise the bannerman. 
Men, come to me. Oh, I guess we lost lots of men because of that, yeah. I was wondering why it seemed quite low. Okay, yeah, we should have enough men to deal with him. We shouldn't have, shouldn't have a big problem here. Of course, I honor my obligation, so he's going to join us. That gives us an extra 700 men. No, 1,000 men. It's not too bad. Better than nothing. And my liege lord has not stopped me just yet. So I feel like we're quite good here. I put the men together. Uh, that is a bit... How about... We put... Okay, the big one is that one. Okay, let's put the little ones in here. Get the big one in the center. There we go, that's a bit better. That's a bit more balanced. Tristram. Now, I'm actually leading men, so it's probably not a good idea for me to go there. I could return and do it myself, but we'll put someone else. Wendell Reber. Weber. Let's put you in charge. My brother. No. Yeah, Mr. Weber will go in our lead. We are married to them, obviously. We'll send Leo as well. And do I, a Leafy Lake? I'll send Leafy Lake. You guys can go. We'll cross the river because we don't get the you know penalty for crossing the river. He's going to Darren Downs, 28th of November. 22nd. Yeah, he won't attack us here. We'll wait till we get the extra men then. Might as well wait for that, yeah. Just wait for the extra men. What level of education would you like to purchase for your son? Well, we'll just spend all the money, yeah. And he needs to choose one now. He is willful, rowdy. And that's it. Willful and rowdy. So, oh wow, they both, they both fit in perfectly with Marshall. Yeah, we have to choose that. We have to choose that then. Okay, go with that. Hopefully that can push him to get rid of Slothful. Please, my son. Please. Uh, we can't... F I just want him to be at least a skilled fighter. I think if you can be a skilled fighter, I'll be very happy. Smallwood. Now, are you leading the men? You're not leading the men. Okay, let's just go to Golden Grove then. I'll go straight to Golden Grove. Take him myself. Yep, still there. Oh, no. He's leading his men. Yep, he just changed to lead his men. You sneaky devil. Okay, let's move the men here, then we can catch them off there. We can just move down. It's farmland, so we should be okay. No river penalties or anything. Okay, let's go. Benfred, the sputtering merman, refused the revocation of the High Lodge of White Harbor. How's your... Oh! What happened... In the Riverlands War. Am I going crazy? Was There was a Riverlands War, yeah? I'm sure there was. I feel like I've gone insane. <laughs> huh. It must have got cancelled out or something. I feel like there was. I must be going crazy. Did I load... What? I have no idea. Did I load in the past or something? No, I didn't. I definitely didn't. Because I've only got two saves. One was of the previous one. Nah, nah. It's fine. I thought I was going crazy there. I'm sure they were at war. Don't know what happened though. And it won't show me anything. And there we go. Victory is mine. Oh no, that's a different battle. Here we go. Okay, Ivy Hall. Now obviously, sadly, I'm not going to fight these guys myself. Um, oh, the campaign's been proof that Lord Benfred of South Shield is clearly not of proper blood. Let's hope not. Bitter Rivals with Seri. Okay. I'm not, uh... Yeah. I've got more enemies than friends. That's that's not a good sign. Let's go to Golden Grove. Take that. If we take Golden Grove, we've basically won. He's also gone back to Golden Grove. It's a good time. I can't see the Westerns. I, I feel bad for the Westerlands. They kind of got screwed over because of the Mega War system. And for some reason, the King felt it was best. Or maybe he just likes the uh, the Tyrells. I don't think he does. Because they did go to war against him. But you never know. Maybe maybe they like him more than the Lana, the, the Liddens, sorry, or the Westerlands. So we decided to balance it. But yeah. Probably not. How the Greyjoys? I haven't looked at you guys in a while. Just look at my daughter. Not pregnant just yet. My son is leading men. Obviously, he's in this war. Go on, Melon. 
Look at your lovely wife. Oak cart. I do like the oak cart, so I kind of like that marriage. The defenders has successfully raided. Let's increase time. We've got to go for the siege. And Oh, yeah, the marriage. They haven't even got married yet. <laughs> I don't know what was wrong with me then. Yeah, of course not. Yeah. Okay, you guys get married. Now you can have babies. Declared second war for Jenna's claim on Gulltown. So he's actually attacking the king for her claim on Gulltown. That's that's a that's a big that's a bold decision. So my kids are leaving the nest. All my kids are going off to different places with their newfound marriages. It's sad when your children leave. Oh, okay, you be careful. You've got six thousand men. They would attack me. Okay, peasant revolt. Definitely need to worry about them. We've almost captured this. He's in Darren Downs, apparently. Declared Lord Osric the Perceptive of Wolf's War for the North. Another wolf? And it... Are you kidding me? Willem, William, the Stark, the one who rebelled all the time, is now Lord Commander. His son rebelled, and he was hanged by the now Lord Paramount, which is why he's a Kinslayer. His brother has now also decided to rebel. And he's quick and immaculate. Wow. What is with these what is with this this family? Just this his line literally just all rebelled. That is hilarious. As a second riverman claim on the north. So now Baron decided to take his opportunity. What happened to your war with the Iron Throne? <laughs> what is going on? You keep declaring wars and nothing happens. Okay, now he's going for the north again. Probably a good time to go. Your faithful hunting dog is always around and always happy to see you. Ah, oh, isn't that lovely? It's good to have such a faithful friend. Loses the trait stressed. Ah, oh, that's nice. So we're no longer... Oh, that's a nice thing to have. We've almost captured this. Hopefully the River Knight can actually finish this war. Apparently he can't finish any wars. My lord, I am pleased to pull up catch some high-value prisoners. Send them to my dungeons. Who is in there? Ah. Huh. The heir. Russell Rowan. Is in my dungeon. Ha. Huh. Hmm. Ha. Castrate. Hmm. Tristram changes by minus 100. Loses to piety. Hmm. I wonder. <laughs> execute. Yeah. I could just I probably just execute. He's a three year old kid though. That is pretty bad. I mean I'm cynical, deceitful, selfish. I am cruel and a torturer. You know what? I think he'll go for I think killing him maybe he'll he thinks maybe he's a bit too far. He's still a noble birth and he likes to torture people, so I think he'd like to rather He's three years old though. Oh, See, I know I would say that's quite far for a lot of people, but then again, he is cruel. I'm starting to seem turning more into like a sort of Tywin Ramsey character, somewhere like in between them. Let's castrate. I'm sorry. I feel bad. You have the boy castrated and turned into a eunuch. You're a real piece of work, aren't you? Ah, oh. and we still have a hundred percent as well. Okay, no more prisoners yet. Yeah? It's just the boy. So we don't kill him, but we have now stopped the line. Um, at least from his son having more kids. Obviously his father because of more kids. Too bad we couldn't capture the wife. But she's fabricating claims. And false demands. No. I'm losing but won't give up yet. You're at minus 100. How can you not give up? Okay, well, we'll just... Okay, apparently because I... Yeah, because I did that to his son. That makes sense. I was expecting that, actually. I was surprised it didn't go down, but apparently you need to give it a little bit of time to change that. Let's just go and fight him. Just get Weber to kill him in combat. That'd be great. Then the, the Rowan line is done for. I was actually I was actually hoping we could fight him again. Bandits have raided the siege camp. Okay, 100%. Yeah, let's make peace then. Ooh. His son is no longer the heir. It would go to the oak cart, which my son's wife is now uninherited from. That is a shame. But yes, yeah, so we basically ended his line for now, unless 
His wife gives him another baby, and she's 19, so it definitely could happen. We can go toward them again. Tristram, he holds these grudges. He is the brute, remember. And he holds these grudges dearly. But look look how things have changed. We started with Stanfast. We were left with this small tower. Now we have Cold Moat back, and we have Golden Grove. Ah, Look at me now, father. Look at me now. I, I mean, I don't think you'd like the man he's become. Yeah, I, I, I think Ustus, you know, even though... He wanted, you know, he was maybe ambitious. I think he would not like the man I've become. He loved real heroes. I'm no hero. Definitely not. Well, next time I have to give away, I think, uh, Smallwood. Yeah. I'm going to have to give away Smallwood to someone. I'll look into who we we'll give it to next time. Uh, and until then, I think we have to leave it from here. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the not pregnant next part. Goodbye. I just saw that my door was fashionable. Now I have this picture of, like, you know, Hoda being fashionable. <laughs> I just have this picture now. Horrible picture. Just absolutely ridiculous. But yeah, I'll see you then.